Halloween is just around the corner and you're looking for some spectacular design ideas. Look no further. I'm going to show you 60 different ideas that you can use for your print on demand business right now. This should help you get the creative juices flowing. And if you guys do not know who I am, my name is RJ Martinez. I just recently passed over $300,000 in royalties all time with my Amazon Merch On Demand account. Check out the screenshot right here. Really awesome, really cool. Now with that being said, make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. Let's get into it. In this video, I'm gonna be using Merch Informer for all the research that's being done in here. Everything that I'm using is product search and then a mixture of Merch Hunter, okay, and then movers and shakers, as you can see on this left-hand side. The keywords, we're gonna do a lot of cross-niching, so from with Halloween and different niches within Halloween. So Halloween and wine, for example. So this is the first niche that we're going to be going into. I'm here for the booze. Okay. And they, they're holding up a wine glass. The ghost is holding up a wine glass. You're looking at the average BSR here. Um, a lot of these shirts, when they get closer to October, they're going to start to trend down and make sales. You can see with this BSR 431 K it is making sales already. As we go down a little bit more, which way to the wine, you can see how they're mixing and wine. So there's different ways that you can Go after this, okay? Taking a look at the keywords and seeing what type of in data that you're getting and what type of information that you're getting to come up with new design ideas too. And that's one way, which is be, was it sipping? Which is be sipping? <laughs> I was gonna say tripping. Happy hollow wine. You wanna be careful with any, using anything with hocus pocus because that's from a movie, a really popular movie in Halloween time. Just throughout the whole year, there's certain things that people are designing for and you can't be designing for it because it's real risky. Like if you're selling on Amazon merch or just any other platform in general, if you don't know and understand that's a pretty cool one check this out. that's a cool one see what they did there really awesome design all right let's move on to the next one all right the next niche is going to be baseball i love baseball by the way you see you got a skeleton right here got this a little bit closer he's in his batting stats this is a little pretty cool design right and it seems to be a consistent seller and you can see who they're targeting men's and boys baseball halloween baseball skeleton got a dabbing skeleton baseball player with hat backwards glove and then you got another dabbing and then you got a pumpkin themed jack-o-lantern which is really cool see what they did and kind of have like the the background of the orange and then with the bats and then they just took that away two top selling designs just by taking out that background really cool oh this is cool a ghost baseball <laughs> <laughs> if you create like a, a woman, like a, a girl theme baseball player, I think that will work really good too as well. Girls love baseball. Maybe you can do some pink, get some girl, women colors in there or girl colors in there. It's a very popular niche for them too. So, so that's what I'm seeing right there. And that's what I would do. Just trying to figure out, okay, where are the little gaps at and what can I do or what can I create, you know, be that filler and, and create something different from everyone else. Let's move on to the next niche. All right. So the next niche is going to be aliens, alien. Okay. If you come down here, you got alien eating a pizza. So a Halloween themed uh, dabbing, you got a, ghost you got an alien you got a zombie vampire witch mummy skeleton pumpkin and they're all doing the dabbing stats and you can see the bsr on this one if you can put all these characters together and have them do something that's trending like a trending dance or something like that it can do pretty pretty good or just even just on a t-shirt all mixed together i can see it doing really well we come over here to this alien with the throwing up the two fingers piece right eating a pizza this is this is money right here and then when you get closer to halloween it seems to do pretty good it starts to go up a little bit right here but over here it's starting to trend down like crazy and this is what we love we want to see this right here as a print on demand seller like this is what we want <laughs> it's making the money baby you know what i mean so really awesome design eating a cheeseburger eating a pizza eating a taco eating whatever you th whatever you think would be good eating a corn dog eating a hot dog i'm gonna have my affiliate link down below in the description with the coupon code so if you guys want to sign up for merch informer there's a free trial you can go ahead and use my coupon code and you'll get a discount and i get a kickback from that and then i'm gonna put a spreadsheet together for you guys too so you can download it and go directly to the link of you know whatever niche I'm sharing with you in this video. Okay, so I'm gonna make sure I hook that all up for you guys so you have access to that. All right, so this niche right here is Halloween pregnancy. So pregnancy, I know it's just crushing it. You can see it's 65 KBSR, then you go right to number two, the number two design, 86 KBSR. You can see what they did with the pumpkin in the feet. Very simple design. And then they got the uh, skeleton, right? The heart, pizza, and beer in the stomach. The woman's pregnant, right? But the, this is the dad wearing it, wearing the shirt. And see the tacos. You kind of get the idea what they're doing with the food for the man. This would be more for like the woman 
recommend wearing this one right here. Pump Twins, the Pump Twins. Interesting. I like what they did right there. And they got a little, that's cool, a little pirate theme. And we're going down and we're still 300K. You can see how popular this niche is. Go down more. You look at this. Look, look, we're looking at all this and the, the, you can see that the demand for this niche, there's a lot of sales going on here. I put a pumpkin in that oven. There's a lot of demand. So funny sayings around anything. So you get the point, you get the idea, you see what's going on, see what they're doing. Different, you know, skeletons, tacos, pizza, beer, just mixing the pumpkin in here too. And just funny sayings about being pregnant and stuff like that can do really good in this niche. All right, so the next niche is going to be Halloween and beer. We've seen this one in the pregnancy niche. It goes hand in hand with that niche too as well. You can see obviously mixing pregnancy, beer, and all the, the man would be wearing this shirt, right? Not the woman, of course. Maybe you could say like, I love beer, but I can't drink because I'm pregnant. Something like that, right? That, that can work. Boobies and beers. Happy Halloween. This is a really cool one. Beer and tacos. More booze, please. They did with the ghost holding the beer. I'm just here for the booze. Boobies. You're seeing what they're doing there. Let's get smashed. Pumpkin holding beers. Trick or, oh, that's cool. The crowd out the tree and put beer that's a cool one alien and beer something right here it might not be like i said it might not be like a niche that's in demand but if you figure out a way to mix this here and maybe you know the funny pregnancy niche the dad or, or for a man you can create an awesome design also too just mixing it with like bees you know think about like different types of beer in halloween ipas stuff like that that'd be a good idea too all right so the next niche is going to be black cat does it have to be a black cat i don't think it has to be a black cat right you may want to test that out because i may be wrong but you can see this design what and it has the moon in the back with some trees and some bats and an owl okay and if we come out here you get to see this it is sells this is what we want right it sells throughout the whole year but then when it comes to halloween and christmas it looks like it is it is crushes so this is a like a really popular type of design right you got the, the, the you know the pumpkin the jack-o-lantern and um the black cat witch hat okay and see how it's doing all the time and you can see when it gets closer to halloween it's going to do well this is a really awesome design halloween black cat with the witch hat the moon on the back full moon that moon's dope that cat's dope the hat's cool and it goes really well together and you can see it's a top seller <laughs> zombie mummy pumpkin face and you can see it's, it's a really cool design now but uh, i think this is a really awesome niche there's a lot that can be done here look at a, a cat's dressed up as ghost this is a top seller for halloween for sure it is and you see even see what they do just even switch up the text right and then you have another top selling design this is really freaking awesome so if you can think of something right here in this niche do it so the next niche is going to be uh, camping camper. Okay. Happy Campoween. You're going to see the witch with the trailer behind her with some trees and it has a decent BSR. You have a pumpkin decorated like a camper, which is really cool. Witches with hitches, funny sayings. You see the background with the moon, the bats, it might be a little house back there, but then you know, they have the camper and the tent. The bonfire is a pumpkin, right? Which is really cool. Happy camper. You got a leopard camper decorated for Halloween. It has some stuff inside there. It's a pumpkin and the leopard print. Now what I'm getting is like campers or there's RVs being decorated for Halloween. You got witches. Think of things like that and come up with different ideas. Maybe mix around this keyword. Let's try it real fast to see what else we come up with. And we got a little bit of different results. So that one's still at the top, which is with hitches. That's a new one right there. We'll We'll call it camping. I call it zombie surviving survival training. <laughs> That's cool. I can see that, you know, a funny Halloween t-shirt. See this one right here is camping and booze. Cole's got a camp. Call it camping. Call it zombie. The same one. The same happy campoween. You see what they did here. Broom broke. So now I go camping. <laughs> That's a cool one. All right, so the next niche is going to be candy. And we're seeing some of the stuff like the monster truck and candy, probably one of the keywords that they're using, but that's why it's popping up now. Pac-Man, a pumpkin eating, I call it candy corn, right? <laughs> that's funny right there to see what they're doing. It's not like you're copying the actual design, but you're just taking the same concept, coming up with something creative, something that you want to learn when it comes to any of this stuff is when you're putting up a design, you don't want to cause any brand confusion so this is really awesome i like something like this uh i can see something like this being a top seller let's come down look at the bsr yeah look at that during halloween it does pretty good funny sayings like that we'll trade sister for candy we'll trade brother for candy we'll trade mom for candy you can go on and so for uh, team candy corn official candy tester i'm just here for the candy you get the point the next niche is going to be uh, coffee. This is a, a really cool one. Skeleton woman drinking coffee. It's dope. It's cool. And you can see that it's cranking uh, with cells. Um, I'm seeing a lot of this design right here. Halloween coffee, pumpkin latte. Those, so there's different types of coffee, right? You can create something like this, but you just want to be very, very careful. You're not causing any type of brand confusion. With this is cool. I see exactly what they did here. Hey, let's look at this BSR. Okay. Just uploaded a few days ago, but you see what they did. They combined like three different holidays in one. 
this looks like it's something that's going to be crushing and it's continue it's making sales already right and it's ranking pretty good so and then you got another skeleton drinking coffee another one here here skeletons satan halloween and then they're brewing like a cup of coffee see how they got real creative right there pretend i'm a coffee okay tis the season Night nightmare before coffee it starts to pick up and it's one of the first top selling niches in halloween that start to make sales all right so the next niche is going to be halloween costume all right when you come down here you're going to see different designs like actual costume but it's on a t-shirt tiger theme right here by looking at this you can see the bsr is doing pretty good some of these niches are even evergreen niches okay they're not just uh, halloween they just sell all year round pirate halloween right you can see what they're doing here and look at the bsr doing pretty good this is my halloween costume this has a good bsr due to inflation this is my halloween costume so funny sayings around inflation that, that's it that's a whole different niche right so you can see as we're doing research we're finding new ideas for different niches shirt with clouds on it right and the bsr is doing pretty decent bare face this is my identical twin costume look at it a knight costume and costume judge that's a good idea what do you think about that text-based design that's really cool but this niche right here anything halloween costume if you come up with any ideas it's making sales it's doing some numbers okay and the next niche is going to be dashed hound wiener dog right <laughs> these are cool little dogs the cool things about this niche is you can see like people are really actually buying these type of designs okay like certain dogs or there's certain ideas that you come up with and you have a top seller that's making you sales you can see these bsrs they're they're, they're cranking in you'll be surprised on what niches are doing really well right now that you probably didn't even think of my dash and hound rides shotgun you got a witch on a broom with the uh, the dog on the front of the broom a wiener dog dash and hound uh dressed up in uh, different kind of costumes or just a, a different uh you know different characters and it's doing pretty well if you come down here let's look at this psr this is recently uploaded this year it's making sales and it's cranking and it looks like it's going to be a top seller in this niche for halloween so this is really interesting so if you can think of something like this and be different from this right here you can make a lot of sales and create a top seller and this was created not that long ago okay our right, next niche is going to be a uh, halloween dancing skeleton from hip-hop dancing to ballerina to salsa there's different types of mexican dancing there's a few different dancing styles out there that you can create and put on t-shirts right you're seeing like a like kid shirts what can you do to so ballerina so you see what i'm talking about right there i didn't even see that one but ballerina that's an idea for a uh, halloween skeleton dancing so let's look at this design orange dress on a skeleton and let's come down and look at this bsr yeah yeah making consistent sales you got a pink uh little tutu dress on right skeleton pink shoes yep it's selling consistently right um i feel like it's, it's starting to rank a little bit more but it sells like a, a few i feel like if you run a little some little ads to this you'll probably create a top seller but it's a it's a pretty funny idea ballerina salsa there's a few different things out there so i would research that and come up with your own ideas for this niche all right so the next niche is going to be dinosaurs halloween and dinosaurs so you got like a a lot going on here you can see like the detail work inside of this design from the skeleton to the you know the halloween basket the t-rex dressed like a mummy right really awesome design and you can tell it's just it's cranking it's making sales here this is almost the same style and you have a mummy dinosaur holding a candy basket jack-o-lantern the moon with a bat and the trees in the background and then you come over here we have a dinosaur inside of a monster truck this time yeah look at these bsrs you got one bsr close to 3k right you got another bsr 33k 45 119 187 and these are some really low bsrs and they're cranking they're just making uh a ton of cells you got that pumpkin with the dinosaur the t-rex popping out um, um, and then think of different dinosaurs too as well um spooky saurus you can see what they did with the candy corn okay with that dinosaur it's dinosaur skeleton pirate saurus so t-rex dressed up as a pirate that's cool right this niche is just cranking it so it's making a ton of sell really really awesome this is an awesome niche dinosaurs to think of different dinosaurs um think about what you can do mixing the skeletons uh turning it into a witch uh, maybe you know throwing an animal riding dinosaur or something like that all right so the next niche is going to be bees you're seeing a little bit of this in the video already I haven't actually talked about the niche save the boobies uh, cancer cancer halloween i love her boobies right dressed up as a ghost same boobies i know at one point this was trademark so also too making sure that you guys double check for trademarks that's very 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 important this is a merchant former trademark check uh if you download this 
it would be right here, which my Amazon trademark protection. It's a really awesome tool. Let's look at the BSR. You can see that this design crushes it every single year. Some of the designs that are trending designs or holiday designs still make sales throughout the whole year. It just, that's just the way it works. It's crazy how that even works. And that's awesome as a print on demand seller that we can even do that, right? So, yep. So you see the idea, right? You get the point. Um, I would try to think of something different. And there's a lot of that, those, the, the phrases being used, especially for Halloween. So try to be creative here, see what you can do. Uh, but this is an awesome niche that's making sales. And by looking at these BSRs, they're just cranking. All right. So the next niche is going to be uh, disc golfing. Okay. This is a popular niche over the years but this niche as it gets closer to halloween it's gonna start doing better than what you see right here these bsrs a little bit higher than normal and you're seeing this same illustration throughout this whole video that i'm sharing with you guys um but you're seeing like evergreen too so if the skeleton throwing the disc golf is not doing that good as you can see kind of mix implementing something like this right so it's the basket and a tree and it's a very simple design now think about what else can you do what we've been seeing throughout this whole video which jack-o-lanterns which brooms pumpkins different themes right throughout this whole video so just kind of just think of ideas and what you can probably come up with stupid tree <laughs> and then create like an awesome halloween themed design and you can see it's underserved as we're going down you're not seeing that it's more of evergreen stuff right and those are going to do really good going into q4 but I don't see nothing good enough for like a Halloween design for well, this may be an underserved niche. So something to think about if you're coming in here, think about Halloween and disc golfing and create something that could be really cool. I'll probably even create something in here and see what I could do. All right. So the next one is going to be English Bulldog. You got an English Bulldog pumpkin. If we go down, we got a English Bulldog and a witch. You got to dress up as a witch too as well. Pumpkin, funny English Bulldog, witch type of thing. Uh, theme, theme, thing. And then you got an English bulldog riding a dinosaur bulldog mummy. You've seen this with the pug, right? And then, you know, you got a vampire theme, English bulldog, got a puppy instead of a jack o now English bulldog puppy. And you're seeing that theme. You kind of see like the repeated theme in here when, with these, these different types of designs. They seem to be doing the same thing, but in different ways or different artists are drawing different things. And um, this can be, I can see this one right here. Wow, some BSR of 11,000 though. So it's not trickling in just yet. Pretty sure these ones are popping up is because it's, they probably have Halloween in the description somewhere. So, or English Bulldog you can see once it's under a million BSR, that means it's kind of, it's selling consistently like one to three times a week. Okay, let's move on to the next niche. Next niche is going to be a flamingo. All right, so Halloween and flamingo. You can see what they did with the flamingo and the skull. You're seeing a lot of this right here. Okay, for Halloween, you're seeing this people grabbing, creating that skull, but taking the animal or the, yeah, the cat, the dog, and then turning it into a skull by looking at this. It's a shape of a skull, but using flamingos, right? You can see this being an evergreen niche. It's consistently making sales. And that's what we want. That's what you want because this is a consistent seller that will make you money throughout the whole year. But not only that, it's like getting the traction, getting the reviews and making the money let's go down look over here i'm with the flamingo we, we went over this right here in the graveyard with the moon in the back with the bats with the little smoke or the clouds a little tombstone and then you got the flamingos in there and starting to make sales you can see something like this doing pretty well in, in every single niche if you can figure out a way to do some type of a uh, silhouette halloween scary spooky design right that's what i'm getting from that and i can see it being a consistent seller all right so the next one is going to be gaming my gaming skills are scary my gaming skills are scary okay i can see what they're doing here the bsrs in this nature seem to be doing pretty good as we go down you can see a that this is dope too this is dope right here got one on a gaming chair i paused my game for halloween let's come over here um look at these this is a freaking awesome one and obviously guys everything i'm showing you in this video is just to get an idea and get inspiration from it if you took this whole design if you're tracing this and just making your own and by changing the, the different color aspects like the hat turning it to blue and the jack and lantern or the or the controller turning it to blue in a way that it's still like copying the actual design your goal is to think of something totally different than this design right here and come up with your own idea so you can stand out because this design right here it's obviously making sales already you can see something like this just getting ahead of you and just cranking to making sales because this is the first one up or the first idea in this concept like this and design layout and it's making sales and it's consistently making sales over and over and i think it's just a, a great design all right next niche is going to be german shepherd psr 300k you know each dog too is going to be different if i didn't talk about any of the dogs that you probably know of in here i would research it just to see you know there may be a certain type of breed that no one has made a design for and you'd be one of the first and that's one of the ways you can make sales the german shepherd and halloween you can see that it's you know these bsrs are starting to you know trickle in and they're getting lower you got a you know the jack and lantern 
and the German Shepherd popping out of it. <laughs> the uh, German Shepherd, like a witch, flying the broom. And you can see what it's doing with that BSR. And then you got another silhouette moon on German Shepherd. And you can see this is doing pretty good too. You can see what they did, like the head of a human in here, but they're, you know, they're dressed up as a German Shepherd. They're supposed to be a German Shepherd. Some of these type of designs do really well in certain niches. You know, every single, every depends what the niche is and the demand and what people think and how they think about that design and would that actual customer buy that or audience buy that theme shirt. Certain things like that when you're looking at keywords, you got hoodie to um, certain things to say if you're selling on a print on demand platform, they offer pillows or they offer hoodies. You've seen stuff like that, you don't overlook that. Make sure you're taking notes and understanding what's going on in the niche or you figure out what people are searching for and give them what they want and that's how you can make sales in any of these niches. All right, next niche is gonna be golf. You can see you got a skeleton doing some golf you got a witch riding in a golf club that's pretty cool halloween you got someone silhouette with the person you know they come down you're getting over the million part you got a you know jack o lantern with the jack lantern a headed skeleton right so i mean this is very simple nothing too crazy but i think just the power of being one of the first designs up in the niche it's helping you rank right and then you're making sales and you can see it's a consistent seller especially going into getting closer to halloween the witch this is a dope one nothing too crazy about this design and just a reminder too anything that i'm using in this video is going to be down below in the description and it has a bsr and it has rating so i'm assuming that you know this one it looks like it, I, I can see it being a consistent seller awesome design i love the the whole idea the whole concept behind this um and just thinking about anything else you can do a baseball bat the next niche is going to be husky you got the you know the husky design with the ship like a skull so you got the you see the huskies it's starting to make some cells skeleton and a husky inside of this little image right here this logo type design which is really cool you got a husky witch you got a husky dressed up as a witch with the little jack-o-lantern and then you got another husky themed halloween shirt interesting theme right here because you got the bats if you look real closely there's a lot of detail in this right and it's pretty cool real cool one you got another one shaped like a skull right with the huskies down a little bit more you got another uh jack o with the husky coming out i'm really a husky in a human costume okay but the husky i can see this when we're going closer to halloween it's definitely going to start to make more sales this may not be like a top selling niche but it's going to generate sales for you when time comes and you can see like this one right here when was this one uploaded 2020 so two years and it's made a few sales but i think it's going to make more sells definitely this year so the husky and halloween niche all right so the next niche is i'm um, with the okay, you can see right here i'm with the butterfly this is something that you could probably scale out yes you can you can see it's making sales right here it's not doing so good so there is a few designs in this niche that we're doing pretty good it looks like it's getting mixed up with pretend i'm a pirate i'm a survivor i'm the grandma witch I'm with the witch. So certain sayings in this niche are they're going to be doing really well right now. Yeah, just look at that. See, this is what I was spotting out when I was looking at this. I'm with the I'm with the teacher witch, and see, it's gonna it's doing decent sales. Come down right here. I'm with the pumpkin smuggler smuggler. And you can see that it's making some sales, right? And this is just one of those niches that are not going to be popping off, but it's an idea, and you can possibly create something that can turn into a top seller if you have an idea. Yeah, so. I'm with the, and then finish that saying with something that you can think. It can be any niche too as well. So I'm with the monster. I'm with the T-Rex. I'm with the whatever it is. Okay. So you get the point right there. All right. So the next niche is going to be Halloween monster truck. We went over one monster truck theme uh, shirt design earlier. This niche right here, it's crushing. You can see 49K BSR, 154K BSR, 179K BSR. You're going to create something that's going to make you, you know, five months of sales which is worth it, right? If you're chill going after these trends, it is definitely worth it, right? It's more of like a, yeah, at a certain point, it kind of just turns into like an evergreen niche. Look at this simple monster truck, got a skeleton in the back. Nothing too crazy there. Very simple design, but it's making sales. It's doing, you know, it's doing some damage. This one is cool. Very simple, right? Nothing too crazy about this design. You got a ghost, you got some bats, got a pumpkin, you got a monster truck. It was uploaded in July, right? So I started making sales last month. You can see there's some really awesome design. Ready to crush Halloween. Feels good, but I think I feel like we can switch the color of the monster truck a little bit more to match the whole theme of the shirt, but really awesome. <laughs> you see the theme with the mummy, the pumpkin. That's cool. It's real detailed too as you're looking at it. Really awesome design. The next niche is going to be nurse. This is a very popular niche when it comes to any holiday. There's a lot that can be done here. It's obviously a very competitive 
competitive niche. If you can figure out a way to come inside here, there are a lot of sales to be made. And you're lucky, you're see, probably seeing a lot of stuff. Oh yeah, that's already made, that's already done, that's already this. But if you learn it, research it, go on Pinterest, go on Google, go on Instagram, go on Etsy, go on Redbubble, go on, just search everywhere and just kind of come up with ideas and see what you can come up with and create something that can be really awesome in this niche. These BSRs are cranking. <laughs> like 48K, Boo Boo Crew, retro style with spider web, ghost that's a nurse with a band-aid, and then just nurse, okay, in the theme of a Halloween, okay? If you, like even, even mixing this with, think of different ideas for Christmas, stuff like that. Probably already done, but you get the point when it comes to this type of stuff. You can implement this with any niche. Think of other occupations and stuff like that. 105K BSR, Boo Boo Crew, okay? You got three ghosts over here. One with the mask on, 200K, 211K BSR. There's a lot that can be done in this niche. Probably seen like 20 shirts and it's still, you know, under a million BSR. So this, but it's very competitive, like I said. So you got to figure out what you can do inside here. The next niche is pretend. I'll pretend I'm a celebrity. You're seeing a lot of this right here. Pretend I'm a Dalmatian. Wolf, wolf. Pretend I'm a pirate. Look at these BSRs, okay? They're going to be ranking in pretty good. Pretty simple text-based design. This is a niche that you can scale out. Now you're probably asking, like, okay, this niche has been around for about a few years now. How could you even enter this niche. So when it comes to this type of stuff, you have to be current with certain trends or certain ideas. And like what's trending right now? NFT, the inflation. That's what I would do. And other than that, build your own brand outside of Amazon and you can drive traffic to your own design on Amazon and make sales that way. So that's one way to do it. I know that with a, a niche like this, it's very competitive. Yes, it is. That is the way that you're going to enter into a new niche like this and make sales. For example, like gnomes weren't that popular three years ago, but now they're popular and they're all over the front page of Amazon. It doesn't matter what type of product it is. You don't have to be some artist, some crazy like you don't have to draw nothing simple text-based designs are top sellers in niches the next niche is going to be halloween and pug you can see the bsr is pretty decent over here i found this niche right here i was doing some keyword research and i was like halloween and pug seem to be popping up and it's a good search term you can see what they did with a uh, pug king like a pumpkin that's really cool so you can think about that for different dogs a pug and a you know dressed up as a witch um, and then you have a pug and different costumes over here on the shirt track <laughs> Dracula. Okay. You see what they're doing. They're putting like a, the pug illustration and dressing up the pug in different funny. I can think of like a pug and a, and a like dress up as an elephant, kind of like a Dumbo kind of thing. Like you have the, you see the different pugs coming out of, you know, the jack-o'-lantern and stuff, which is really cool. So I think that seems to be like a trend inside of this niche, but dressing up, dressing it up as making a different characters, a pug pirate, create a really detailed pug and just messing with it and creating different ideas, which skeleton, Dracula, there's so many things that can be done here. Whatever it is, you think about it. So next niche is going to be skateboard, a ghost a logo design with a ghost, which is cool. Barely got to put up in last month and this thing is just cranking, which is really cool to see. That's awesome this looks like it's going to be a top selling design for halloween look how simple that is right <laughs> there's so many different ideas that can be done skeleton doing like a kickflip or something or an ollie or whatever it is and then you have like a, a motion of a skeleton doing different tricks on the shirt do you see what they did here with the 500 kbsr the price point is 14.99 on that one and this one has a 728 kbsr but it's 16.98 it's more the actual graphic the illustration is a blown up on the shirt they went from logo design or on the like pocket area and then they made it bigger on the shirt and then they have a whole other design there goes that that skeleton again doing with the skateboard just dominating this whole niche just using that same skeleton making it do different things i think with the skeleton niche right for halloween it's there's a lot that can be done as we're going through these whole videos but that whole that whole niche can probably make you like five thousand six thousand dollars for the month just with this with skeletons and coming up with different ideas oh that's cool that's a cool one the next niche is going to be soccer skeleton you're seeing that same type of probably the same artist by the way they're making the same skeleton design kick the soccer ball with that little background with the bat and the orange you come up over here I see him doing different like kicking and they took out that orange background and put it right here too as well and you can see what they're doing with these bsrs if you take a look you see just to get an idea just taking out that background created another top selling design right which is powerful oh soccer with like blood right zombie soccer ball blood halloween that's a that's a cool one kick or treat funny sayings around soccer so think about like you know what you can do with different sayings and if you can make funny soccer saying for that niche with the halloween theme it can be you can make sales oh this one's cool i like this one right here what they did here 
It's a pumpkin soccer ball, which is really awesome. You get the idea. You see what they're doing inside this niche. Just think of something that you can do. Um, if you know soccer, that's what I recommend too. If you know the niche, if you have a passion for a certain niche, you can obviously create a different, a few different ideas for Halloween and uh, make some sales here. Next niche is going to be teacher. This whole niche right here, it does pretty well, pretty much for every holiday. Spooky teacher books, like librarian books, teacher, like you've seen that type of equation. I think this is a really cool one. You always see these like online where people try to make little memes out of these and see if anyone can guess it. And I can see it working really well on a t-shirt too as well. Anything related with school can do pretty good. If you can think of something like that, funny Halloween pumpkin pie. That groovy style text is doing pretty pretty good in every single niche. Look at the ABC, spooky teacher. See what they did, it's real cool. Uploaded towards the end of last month. Now it's just cranking and making sales. And it's gonna crush even more when it gets closer to Halloween. And it's nothing too crazy, right? Just understanding and researching the niche and giving what the pe what give the people what they want in this niche, right? With all the new trends that are going on in the world and understanding what the people want. If you create something, you can create something really nice. And if you look at the bullet points, you see what they're doing. Interesting that they're using gift ideas. I wonder how they got away with that. The teacher niche and Halloween school teacher, different types of teachers. The next niche is going to be unicorn. This one right here, I'm pretty sure a lot of us have seen this. A unicorn themed Halloween witch wearing a witch hat. We've all seen it. It's, it's crushing. It, it, it crushes every single year. And, and going into this year, it's going to be crushing just the same exact way as it did last year. Remember with just with these newer trends, right? Unicorns were like, they're always been a big thing, but like the last five years, they've been just really big and just trending. And you can see that they're not going to go anywhere i'm probably going to be good for another five years or probably if you can figure out just one design it can make you a good amount of money and even if it makes you a hundred dollars a month that's still a good amount of money i like what they're doing how they're using that keyword halloween because it's trending as it's trending they put it to the front of the title leveraging that to create more sales and that's my thinking with that when i'm looking at this title they're using that it's not a not even a theme like a halloween themed design you could make a unicorn security halloween themed design and i think it would do really well you got a pumpkin decorated as a, a um, unicorn. Another unicorn holding a candy basket, right? A jack o' lantern candy basket. You see the ideas. You see what they're doing. All theme, Halloween theme sell ideas. How would you create something? that can come into this niche and make sales. Can you make like a unicorn themed coffee type of design? That can, I think that will do pretty good, right? You can see women and unicorns and Halloween working really well together. That's just my opinion. I think something like that, think about it. If it's not already out there, but that can be a good idea. And if you enjoy this type of content, make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up and check out part two of Halloween ideas.